Dr. Katie Anderson, ER doctor extraordinaire. Thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day. Um, you're, not, you're not in the ER at the moment, uh, but I wanted to just touch base with you. And what I'm trying to do is get a feel for folks who are on the front lines, what's going on, what you're seeing, and how we can help um, out in the public as well. So um, I know that you uh, are providing ER services in several hospitals around the 757. Um, what are you seeing? Are you surprised? Um, how do you feel things are going right now with COVID-19? Um, I feel like right now the, the word is wait. I feel like we're waiting. We're prepared prepared and will continue to prepare in a lot of different ways and uh, the volumes are a little bit down which is a good thing because that means that people are are heeding uh, the recommendations to stay at home and and you know so the usual things that we see the car crashes and the um, people coming in with a lot, a lot of different complaints we're not seeing um, so every day I walk in wondering if today is going to be the day we're going to see the surge. So far, a handful of COVID patients every day, some sick, some not so sick, um, but haven't seen the surge yet. And that's the, feel like that's kind of the underlying theme is when is it going to happen? But it's good because it gives us more time to prepare. So have you been seeing a lot of um, donations coming into uh, the various hospitals? How is that looking and how are you all um, handling them? Oh, we're uh, getting a lot of donations, which is really great. I think everybody wants to do something and, and although sitting home and doing nothing, it doesn't feel like doing something, but it, but, uh, it is. And so we're getting a lot of masks and food and smoothies yesterday we got tropical smoothies and um five guys and today there was taste sandwiches and um just people in the community are are bringing us loads of stuff and cards and masks beautiful homemade masks um so it's it really uh boosts the morale and uh everybody all the you know, nurses techs doctors uh we're all really enjoying it and very appreciative that's great and you mentioned uh you're calling this the um, the, what do you say, the, the Corona 15, okay. quarantine 15? Tell me about that. We're, we're, we're joking that we're calling it, you know, like the freshman 15, we're all, all going to get the quarantine 15 because the gyms are closed and we're eating a lot. And, um, and if, if we surpass the quarantine 15, then we're going to call it the COVID-19. So hopefully we'll get to that. I hear you. <laughs> I hear you. So do you feel like, um, you guys are in pretty good shape right now in terms of staffing and um, equipment for the most part? So far, so good. Um, that's a good thing. I think that I, I, I'm really hoping that the curve is flattening and that's why we're, we're seeing, um, a, a we haven't seen a surge yet and that hopefully we will be able to, we won't exceed our capabilities in terms of um, staffing and ventilators and hospital beds. Um, I, you know, we certainly haven't seen the worst of it yet. Um, we, are, but we're ready. I think we have, you know, we're, and the longer that we have to wait, the, the more prepared we'll be, which is great. I learned how to operate a ventilator today. I usually don't operate the ventilator, but that was one thing that I'm ready to do if I need to do it. So the more time, the better. So when people hear that we're starting to flatten the curve, does that mean that we can let up and that we can resume our lives or... Um, you know, I talk with my teenage boys about that, and we have this debate about whether or not they can go out and see their friends now because things are, things are, you know, not. It doesn't seem like there's much going on. What, what, would, no, what would your advice be to them? I mean, it's easy to let your guard down on a, a beautiful day when when it seems to be quiet and we haven't seen a surge yet. But I, I think that um, it's encouraging and that we should stay the course and not. Um, not let our guards down just yet because um, then we will see uh, a reverse in all the progress we've made uh, and we certainly don't want to do that but what we're doing so far seems to be working but it's day by day you know you, you look at the numbers and and uh, and you read and see the pictures of what's happening around the country um, and and we certainly um, are trying to learn lessons from some of those other cities that that um, maybe didn't do some of the same things that we're doing now. Well, I, I don't want to keep you too much from, um, 
you know, having on your little time off that you have to go relax and hang out with your kids. Um, but I just wanted to say, um, I'm so grateful for what you do. You are truly a public servant. And I know the whole community um, really is incredibly uh, thankful for the sacrifices that you make um, for your family, from your family, um, and for us. Uh, and uh, so keep up the great work. If there's anything that we can do, please let us know. And, uh, oh, likewise, certainly. Thank you, and thank you to everybody for, for um, just um, all the support. We'll get through it. Thanks. Bye, Katie. Take Thanks. care. Bye, Andrea.